How's it going? My name is Craig Adams. I'm a traveling filmmaker, YouTuber, nomad, living out of a single backpack. So this 45 liter contains everything that I own. Well, plus the camera and the microphone and the tripod, but this is everything. So the bag is the first and most important thing and I could have gotten a larger one, but I wanted to be able to walk around and keep it on my back without dying. So 45 liter was pretty good for me. But the main reason that I like this backpack is this outer sleeve. So if you undo this top, unzip that, I have an entire other backpack in here. It's got a camelback water bladder in it for water. And this is what I would take if I made it to a city or a destination, or if I went on a little day hike, I can fit most of everything I need in here. And I'll show you the drone, but this has an awesome compartment on the outside for a camera or a drone or clothes. It's nice because it can expand as much as I want it to. I'm gonna show you what's in here in a second, but I'm gonna go through this real quick. So when I'm on an airplane or traveling, I may need to get to my bathroom stuff real quick. So I keep that on top as well as a book. So the only physical book that I own is Walden. I'm going through it real quick. It's definitely on brand for a traveling filmmaker minimalist trying to figure out his life on the road. So as soon as I read this, I'll probably give it to someone or leave it somewhere. I've got these clear vinyl bags and these are awesome because they keep everything safe in there and I can see what's inside. So we've got just normal everyday bathroom stuff. The only thing that I'm gonna point out is this little fold out toothbrush. I've tried a couple different toothbrushes and I like this one the most because it folds out. I did the whole thing where you cut your normal toothbrush in half, but I feel like this is a little bit better. I do wear contacts and I'm hoping to get LASIK in the future just to make things much easier. On the back side of the brain, I have my secondary bathroom stuff. The main thing I'm gonna point out is this shaver. I've looked so much for a rechargeable micro USB uh, shaver, but I don't, so I have to carry this big one. And a lot of people tell me just to move to normal, like razor blade shaving with cream. And I think I may do that in the future. We'll see, I'm just so used to an electric shaver and it's really, really easy. <laughs> Once again, those clear vinyl bags for the win. So my camera, which is an A7 Mark III, uh, normally has this Rode VideoMic Pro Plus on top for when I'm vlogging. And uh, it's a great audio, and I actually turn it around on my camera uh, for when I do solo podcasts, because it's got a great sound when you're close up to this. So two for one. And this is rechargeable via U uh, micro USB. For sandals, I've got these super minimal little flip-flop sandals that attach at the back. Um, they are as thin and small as possible. It takes some getting used to, but I love these. These are fantastic for warmer weather or just around places. And speaking of shoes, I've got these uh, Asics, which are pretty much good for running, hiking, anything more intense than requires with the sandals. Once again, normally on my vlogging rig, I've got this Joby, which attaches to the bottom of my camera, and I can use this as a tripod. I can attach it to railings, and then I can actually hold it out like this to do a selfie mode because my lens is a 16 to 35 and at 16 it's pretty good pov for when i'm shooting out and then it's also wide enough to get a good selfie so i do have a drone inside this bag to keep it safe and uh, this is the mavic 2 pro uh, with the hasselblad lens really nice drone a lot of sensors, fantastic size for the capabilities and quality that you get. Also in another bag, I've got the controller for the drone. My last clear vinyl bag is full of electronics for filmmaking, a battery charger for the A7 Mark III. I've got two of these extra batteries, so three camera batteries in total. I've got the charger for the drone which also has a micro USB built in, so that's nice. I have one extra battery for the drone, and they last about 30 minutes, so they're really good. And then I have this travel adapter, which is good for a bunch of different countries, Europe, US, Japan, Australia, Thailand, UK, and this has USB plugs on the side so I can charge multiple different ways. You'll notice that most of everything that I own is rechargeable via micro USB and that's on purpose. So I have this extra large uh, microfiber towel. This is good for 
drying off after a shower or if I get rained on. So with the socks that I'm wearing, plus these other two, that's what I have. These are pretty thin, very easy to wash overnight and then dry. The shirt that I'm wearing is uh, the only shirt that I own. I've got three of these, and then these are also Air Rhythm uh, by Uniqlo. Very thin, very light, uh, very easy to wash in the sink as well. I try to do as much washing in the sink as possible. Just like the shirts, I have three pairs of this uh, spandex microfiber underwear. And I like this because they're stretchy, they're spandex, and then they also have pockets on the sides for running. So I can put my phone or keys or, or money or whatever I need anytime I go for running. I have one pair of running shorts. These are very small, thin, good for hot weather. I'm also wearing these spuds, which are minimalist shorts. They're resistant to odor, Bacteria, easy to wash, stretchy, they have multiple pockets, and they look good. For colder weather, I have one pair of gray sweatpants. I have one pair of blue jeans. These are super comfy. I've been wearing these for a while, and I've got my belt inside. I've got my friendly Swede uh, bed liner, so if I go to a hostel or sleep anywhere, it's like a very thin, tiny little sleeping bag. That way I'm not touching anything. It keeps me safe and clean in uh, mystery sheets. <laughs> I've got one black hoodie. This is uh, warm and cozy and I'm very sentimental to this hoodie. And one bright orange raincoat parka uh, if it starts to rain or if it's cold and it matches the uh, the gray and the orange of my backpack. And then that's it for the backpack. Everything's out. You'll also notice that there is a, an area for uh, the, the camelback. So if I'm wearing this on my backpack back for a while, I can run through and then have water to drink, but I just switch it back and forth depending on what I'm using. And then lastly, to go through this real quick, the main thing that I'm protecting in this day bag right here is my most valuable thing, my MacBook Pro. It's a 2016 13 inch. It's got a one terabyte inside. I did a whole review. You can check that out if you want but I'm a filmmaker, I shoot, edit, and I need this on the road with me. But I can do all of my editing on it. It's very, very easy. Of course, to go with that, I've got the charging things for the MacBook. And then I just have to edit with a mouse. I'm much quicker. And when I am editing for 10 or 11 hours straight, it really helps to have this magic mouse. I have one headlamp. And the nice thing about this is that it is rechargeable via micro USB, once again. I have a single Mophie brick which can power a bunch of things throughout the day with the built-in lightning cable and then also a micro usb you're starting to see the theme right <laughs> so i'll typically use this to charge my phone especially if i'm droning inside the smallest pocket of my backpack i've got all my little tiny things so a little tsa lock in case i need to lock a locker in a hostel or if I'm traveling and I want to lock things. I've got a couple pills for headaches or diarrhea. I've got this little can opener and screwdriver in case I need it. Chapstick, very important. I do have documents and papers, which I'm actually going to be sending to family members and not keeping with me, because it's not good to keep all of your personal documents in one place. I do keep my passport with me. Any cards I have, I'm going to keep with me. One single gel pen. I've got a dongle for the MacBook Pro, SD card, micro SD card from the drone. And then I've got three cables, one for charging my phone into a wall, and then two micro USB. And I, I seem to be able to charge everything pretty quickly with just these three cables. Lens cap for the camera. AirPods are the only headphones that I have and they're totally fine to edit on as far as syncing. Sunglasses for running. And that's it, I guess a hat as well. <laughs> um, yeah, and uh, I'm recording on a Sennheiser AVX and I'm keeping that because I do freelance filmmaking sometimes and it's good to have a couple different audio sources. And for something like this, you know, it's very helpful. This is everything I own and uh, my website is awesome because it is everything I own. I've got a grid list with photos and descriptions of all of this stuff. I update it as I update my kit, but it's, uh, it's getting smaller and smaller. So if you wanna check out any of the stuff that I talked about here, the best way to see it and buy it and check it out yourself is to visit craigadams.com. There's a link in the description. 
but I'm just excited. Uh, I was a little nervous to share this with everyone because it, it seems a bit crazy. I know that minimalism gets kind of a, a bad rap these days and people who are jumping on the trend or don't really understand that it's all about intention, uh, being intentional with the things that you own and value and uh, reevaluating what you want to keep in your life. If you want to learn more about minimalism and what it means to me, I do have a digital minimalism video that I think might be interesting and I'm hoping to make an update to that soon. So yeah, if you want to uh, watch my travel films, I've got plenty of those, but I'm curious to know what you think. Uh, do you think there's anything missing? Do you think there's anything that might be helpful for me to add or take away from my, my kit? I'm sure I'm gonna get some people who are like, mur, 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 mur. but I don't know. I just wanted to share this and this is definitely the start of a huge adventure. Uh, thank you for following. Uh, I would appreciate if you subbed. Um, thanks, take care.